Thanks for tuning in to Biohackly. In this video, I'm going to show you how I set up my longevity ozone generator to fill a syringe with the lure lock system. All right, let's get started. This video is for informational purposes only and is not intended to be medical advice. Please seek the advice of your medical doctor before you try anything like this at home. On the left hand side here you can see I have an oxygen tank from Longevity Resources. This is actually an industrial oxygen tank filled with food grade oxygen. Uh, this gold oxygen regulator is really the gold standard of oxygen regulators. It's from Longevity Resources as well, same company. Uh, it's a very very high quality, high end regulator. I'll put the model number uh, on the screen so you can see what it is if you want to order the same one. It's worth it to buy a better oxygen regulator because an oxygen regulator over time may not give you a, an accurate flow and there is even a chance of um, them leaking. So spend the extra money, they're not that much more, and get a better regulator. Here's another one from Longevity as well. It's the same thing, very high quality. Um, they've been in business for 20 years, they know what they're doing. They've got a client list from MIT, Caltech, Boeing, NASA, uh, Brookhaven National Laboratory, I mean, it really goes on and on. Carl Zeiss Labs, everybody uses Longevity Resources uh, products. So uh, when I first wanted to buy an ozone generator, I got onto YouTube and I started watching videos on ozone and watched videos from Dr. Robert Rowan, Dr. Gary Gordon, and Dr. Frank Schellenberg, and they all talked about Longevity Resources. So I went to the website, I learned more about them. I looked at that client list I was just talking about, NASA and everything else. Um, and then also, you know, they've, they've, they donated around $40,000 worth of machines to a hospital in Sierra Leone when Dr. Robert Rowan went over there to try and help with the Ebola breakout. Very kind-hearted people, great people to deal with. So I recommend Longevity Resources as well. This unit is called the EXT120T Ultra. This is their newest unit. It's made with NEOS technology. It's all digital. The flow on the right-hand side here goes along with the flow chart here and the timer that's going to determine how you set your gamma to learn more about protocols i suggest you go and get dr frank schellenberger's new book called the ozone miracle on amazon.com dr frank schellenberger is really the uh, guru of all ozone protocols this new book of his on amazon this is my guide this is it's going to it's going to give you pretty well every ozone protocol that you could want and it's going to answer every question i think that you'd ever have as well so it's really an incredible resource it's the only book you need if you want to start doing ozone protocols. I'll put a link for that down in the description below. So on the left hand side here you can see there's a timer. Right now I've got it set to 15 minutes and that's because I also use this for my ozone sauna. Uh, but if I go up to, uh, let's say I go to the infinity and the back to seconds, it's set to 60 seconds because I use that for rectal insufflation. So it automatically remembers my previous settings. In this case I'll just go to minutes and we're going to hook this thing up and show you how to fill up the syringe with the lure lock syringe port here. First thing I'm going to do is connect the clear oxygen tank hose to the input oxygen line on the ozone generator. And then I'm going to take the ozone out, this silicone line here, and I'm going to connect that to the lure lock valve. And it only goes in one way. It'll only fit one side. It won't plug into the other side. So from here I'm going to plug this into the ozone destruct unit. And what that's going to do is that's going to allow me to turn everything on. It's going to be generating ozone right through the pipe here. And as long as I have that set in that position, it's not going to allow any ozone to go out. It's going to continue the flow right to here and it's going to turn it back into oxygen. So I'll go ahead and do that now. I'll turn the valve on for the oxygen tank and I'll hit start here and I'll set my flow. In this case, I'll just set it to 1 8 so now I don't have to worry about anything. There's oxygen flowing through here into the machine. The ozone's coming out here. It's going straight through into that ozone destruct unit, converting back to oxygen. So if I want to fill up my syringe now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to connect it to that um, lure lock valve, the syringe port there. I'm just going to put it on and twist it. You'll feel when it's snug. And all I have to do is turn that 45 degrees pointed towards the ozone destruct unit. And you're going to see it start filling up the syringe. So once I've got the syringe to the level that's required for the protocol that I'm doing, I can go ahead and turn that valve back to that 45 degree position there and it's going to cut off the uh, flow to the syringe here and it's going to send it back through to the ozone destruct unit. I can go ahead and disconnect that. 
I always want to keep my syringe in an upwards position because ozone is heavier than air. So this way the ozone will sit at the bottom. If I turn it upside down, the ozone will leak out the bottom. So now I can go ahead and I can actually uh, turn off the oxygen flow here and go ahead and turn off the ozone generator. I've still got the machine on, but I can go ahead and turn the machine off. And again, I'll close the valve on the oxygen tank as well. So that's it. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please subscribe. I'll put a link to Dr. Frank Schellenberger's book in the description. And I'll also put a link to Longevity Resources website, ozonegenerator.com.